right now, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. say for instance, now the outdoor, the indoor activities. So you have various activities, games, and all of that. Mm. Of course, you would see some children that would be drawn to some certain things that other children are not going to. Yes. So at that point in time, you're able to know that okay, this yeah. child is likely to have an interest in, in things related yes. to this. Yes. So it also helps parents to be able to identify that okay, this is the kind of things my child likes. So you're not just buying or doing things and you're wondering, you're not playing with this thing. No, of course, the child will not play with it now because it, you're not giving that room to experiment yes. and yes. see that, okay, what exactly does this yes. child like? Yes. And, you know, when you also have to play, you, I think it's also, it, there are times you, you as a parent also have to play with your children. Yeah, I was going there too. Yeah. Yes. So when we're saying power of play, we're not just saying just let the children play. When you also have to play with them because this will help with their communication. They they have questions. Oh, they want to ask a few things. Mm -hmm. What is this? You are going to be why is this? them? Yes, why is this? Why is this ball? Why do I have to throw it in the basket for you to fall? Yeah, let me <laughs> let me just let me just add, let me just give expo, please. Uh, it, it depends if you have any inquisitive children. <laughs> as you are playing with them, please have a dictionary. Of course, and your phone. Because <laughs> you and Gono has had some questions. I know what to look like. I don't know do it. The other day, Toki was asking me, Mommy, do you know what a burrow owl is? And the other day, you're like, where, where is that coming from? What's that? What's a burrow owl? And then she started to explain. So this owl is a, is a, a species of owls, mm. but this particular one goes into other animals' nests oh. and burrows, like it digs, digs into it and lays its poop there mm. for some very strange reason. I've, I've not even gone to study. study. I, I heard it for the first time mm. from my daughter. I've never heard it. Never. I didn't even know that. Though. I didn't even know that owls could do that. Do that. Because I thought they were just very strange. You know, they could turn their heads 360. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. <laughs> but apparently there are different there species of it. I don't know. There's a con concrete bird. Yeah, I've heard of that one. I've heard of that one. <laughs> that one. Yeah. See, we were watching animals and I'm like, uh uh. Okay. It so, with x ray x ray fish. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's something yeah. called x ray, x -ray fish. fish. <laughs> so, so, like you said, it's not just about you asking them to just go and play. play. Mm. You also have to be involved in this play or else. Oh, okay. My mommy does not know anything. <laughs> the black has said you in school before. Hey, <laughs> hey. I have been casted before many I, times. I, you know, I mean, they say the the dandies the, 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 the crazy. They don't, they don't even. There's no that. filter. They say it. I have no sense. Mm. No. Is is the is the is the. <laughs> I mean, it's how pure their heart is that they, don't, they just feel like, oh, this is the right thing mm -hmm. to say. It's what happened. I'm saying. So you, as a parent, you have to be able to play with them, to teach them, and to help them. You know, this is what this is. This is why this is this. This is why this color is this. So yesterday I said I was doing the experiments yesterday. So I put the basket in the stereo and then I arranged um, the building blocks by their colors. Mm. So I said, okay, we're going to be taking the color after color, green, this and that. We're turning it in the basket. And it was like, no, I want to take everything all together. I said, no, <laughs> we're going to take them color by color so we can understand, you know, arrangements. We can understand colors and all that. At first it felt like, what's this woman doing? But over time, he now came back to me and said, oh, I've packed color green. I've packed color brown. Uh, we had green, blue, orange, pink, and red. So when he came back, I was like, okay, now you understand why I said we should take it color up. Mm -hmm. So he was taking it green, true, orange, through. Before, he wanted to just pack <laughs> everything. So you have to be there to be able to teach them some things, some rules, some explanations as well as parents. So and communication. So they're asking you, you reply them back. They, they're talking to you, you also talk back to them. So playing does not, now, so the, when, when we say play, as a parent, don't think, oh, that, that's, I, not, I think that's where we are missing it. Most, for most parents, that when we say play for children, the first thing that comes to mind is they should just go play. So that's why it's, it's important as parents that you engage with them, and it also makes them smart. See, there's this, Actually, when I started doing this research and I told myself, I said, so there is a lot to learn. Y usually, to be honest, I'm also the kind of brain that feels like, just play within here. Why, why are you going out? And of recent, I realized my son is always saying, mommy, let's go outside to play bicycle. Mommy, let's go outside to play ball. And in my mind, I'm like, why are you going outside to play? But recently, with this 
my research and I'm like, okay, so it probably is something that he's interested in or that he wants to, he will probably learn or see. So why am I always saying? I mean, it's please, good that like, it's even in touch with nature. Mm. It's good that it's in And we're always plucking flowers on the way. Uh, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's good that it's in touch with nature. Apart from the fact that, you know, being outside filters all the toxins mm -hmm. and everything, you know, they, they, are, they get to see these things for real. Yeah. They are feeling the flowers, we always touching the grass. We always are seeing the birds in the sky, <laughs> not just in the TV. Yeah. You know, you are in tune with reality. With reality. So it opens up their minds oh. to, you know, to, to learn better. It opens yeah. up their minds, yeah. Um, another thing that may not be related, but is related. When they're outside too, sometimes I allow them go without shoes. Mm, I, I can't try that. Yeah. Because, um, you know, they wear shoes a lot. Yeah. And so that there'll be enough room for blood flow and all of that. Mm. Their legs, their feet need to, even medically you can check it mm. for adults too. Your feet should be on the ground. It should have contact with the ground. Mm. You know, there's a way, there's some parts, of, I don't know the terms, but there's just some parts of it that, you know, that contact with different textures stimulates the feet, it, the feet mm. and it goes all the way up. And learning. So for children, so I encourage you to, mm. if I decide the house, I don't let them wear shoes. No, well, we have to just, no, so, eh? So we will wear shoes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was the problem. You have not measured it. <laughs> <laughs> so people will tell you, wear your shoes. No, the floor is dirty. I don't want your legs to get dirty. Oh, Wait, it's a child. We are wearing to the dirty elf. Yes. Kid. Okay. Yes. Some people that's on another, on another level. So some people do. That's why I said, see, if you have some sort of, I don't want this, I don't want yeah. that. You are going to deprive your child <laughs> the fun of childhood. You know, you reminded me of when I did a reel and I was like, um, looking for how to have a clean house, well arranged. And then I did a pause and I wrote back that well. There is none I'm also looking for. <laughs> And then I had yeah. people say, oh, they were even waiting to see that. What, 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 what exactly is this? What nah, nah, nah. And then someone just came from somewhere and said, eh, it's a, that our whole family, they have a play section and all that. And I said, in that, I asked her, I said, in that play se section, be sincere. Do they really play? That's, they don't extend mm. to others. She said, well, not every time. Because I, I said, that's the thing. That's, you cannot say that. You yeah. should not be restricted. <laughs> you can't say, okay, only this kernel. They should not be restricted. And so it works. It shouldn't be restricted. I don't know. Do you, so depending on the age of the child also, maybe when they were younger, I won't let them into the kitchen. Mm. Now that they're getting older, I let them into the kitchen. So you want pancakes? Will you sift the flour? You will do it. Oh yeah, let's go. You you break the eggs. Let's go. Don't make a mess. Obviously, it's but that's what I'm teaching them. Mm. That's one egg that we waste. It's not a big deal compared to the things that they will miss out on if I don't allow them to mm. be brought. I don't know if you saw my status on Sunday. Mm. On Sunday, I made Chin Chin. Yeah, I saw it. And, and yeah, it was my son. Really that I'm telling you. <laughs> but it's genial. I told him we eat it like that. He was the one doing the rolling. He tried to cut. I gave him this plastic fork that uh, knife that, of course, didn't work out to me. I just had to, you know, do the cutting and all of that. But do you know what? That's three, five uh, and two rolling. You, you, carry you as an adult, you know what <laughs> people do to you here. Let alone yeah, a child so, yeah. get. And the fact that it was so into took it in and the excitement, the joy. Took it in answer was. But the fact that he could do that, it was. A big deal, and finally, he ate big, big deal, and he ate the <laughs> thing. We enjoy because he knows that he played a part in in the, the making of this mm -hmm. thing, you know. So, apart from the toys, too, depending on the age, as they are growing older, let them in. Yeah, they are also activities that are considered as play, as, as play, well. learning. Let them too. in. Things like beans, yeah. yeah. It's then that they will say, "Don't let children pick because they will put it in their nose or in their mouth." These children <laughs> see if they can understand <laughs> things in cartoons yeah they can but, hear you you just simply say do not put this in your mouth or in your nose and let them know why mm -hmm. don't put it because it can block your nose and that'll be dangerous don't swallow it because it can block your uh, what's that mm -hmm. track yeah, i don't know those things. medical people yeah it can block some place there and then there'll be issues yeah we're picking this because we want it to be clean 
put this in this place, put it, and you see that with excitement. With excitement, yeah. don't do it, don't do it, and it helps them to. Like, in fact, I just realized also that building blocks helps children in um, to to be better in mathematics. I don't know. I, I've still not studied exactly how. Because when it's a plane, we're always building and train. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't understand how, but I think what they were trying to say is the fact that, you know, the child can mount blocks and know that if I put it up to this height, it can fall. So let me bring it into mm -hmm. two, put one in the middle here okay. and make something. That child is likely to be good in mathematics. Mm -hmm. Problem solving too. Yes, it tells the it, problem solving. I mean, yeah. yeah. You can put a child, do, that baby, bring her here. And, and you'll be shocked at the things that she'll be able to do with these wires. Mm -hmm. To you, it's dangerous. Of course, don't plug it. But to her, she's playing. You don't need to tell her she needs to roll um, or unravel it before it can come out of that. It comes with being able to play. She's yeah, exactly. Playing. So she's playing. And in the process of playing, that's when she realizes that I can actually dismantle this thing. thing. But if you don't give her the opportunity to learn it, she cannot learn. Mm. She cannot learn. Mm. There's so much to learn in Power of Play. And then we also have the part of, like you said, improves intelligence uh, a lot. You know, if you know, some people you see them, oh, she's speaking so well. Oh, he's speaking so well. Oh, you know so much about this. And that's because that child has been given, I mean, a very big room to play, to, play, to yes. explore, to ask. This part is important. Asking and you giving them a reply. Don't just say, eh, just go and play all oh, this and that. If you, if you, if you really want to enjoy the benefits of, uh, you know, power of play, you have to be involved as well as a parent. You have to be engaged as a parent. It also helps them to spark, you know, creative thinking. Oh, leave children. See, that's, you, you, well, that's one of the sweetest things I like about, you know, when you leave a toddler and say, like, first, sometimes I'm like, no TV, no this, no that. They, they always come up with something. They come up with something. <laughs> they just come up with so like, like the first, the first wow. 10 minutes of telling them, no, you can't watch TV. Or, or and we're not saying, please don't get this wrong. We're not saying they shouldn't watch TV. My children will watch TV. It should just they, they always, they would, yeah. Because for adults, TV is very addictive. I don't know if I shared this the last time, but it was during COVID, we stopped watching TV at home. Mm. Not only because of the children. So no COVID, Couples were our room together. Yeah. And what it was at all. And then, uh, also I just realized that a whole day we were TV. watching TV, we hadn't even had anything to discuss. <laughs> I'm telling you. So if it's not TV, it's our phones. phones. Mm. So apart from the children, yeah, we saw it as an opportunity also to talk. So we just unplugged it. And since then, since COVID, I don't even know where the decoder is. Mm. That's the truth. We unplugged it and just kept it some way and it has helped us a lot so now we can be in the space and talk for hours without turning on the, the tv like that the tv ah, oh god that tv is suffering because it only comes on when the children want, want to, if we want to catch up on news to we'll catch up on our phone yeah and that's it you know so so it's it's i mean it's um we're not saying that you should take them off tv completely no, 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 no. we're just saying let's it be timed so that they can use the greater part, like let them have eighty percent oh, of one week, yeah, eighty percent of a week. Let them play mm -hmm. and then do twenty percent of TV. You know, like I said, I use TV sometimes to reward. Yeah, I say, okay, wow, you have been good. You did this for me. You help me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what is watch this and all. and guess what? I'm not leaving them to watch what. I also I'm there. Good. I'm there and I choose. And they choose what they are watching mm -hmm. so that I'm sure that the content is safe, mm -hmm. you know. So don't don't get this whole thing wrong about us saying that on TV. Or, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm they saying also have to watch like, the house cartoons and all of that. Yes, they learn, they learn vocabulary. Oh, yes. Also learn a lot. They learn a lot. Yes. A lot. Yes. A whole lot. I mean, there are some shows on Netflix that I'm like, yes, this, this shows came at the right. Octonauts. I don't know if you see Octonauts, mm -hmm. but I love Octonauts because then you learn anything mm -hmm. and everything. The Ring of Fire, I heard it for the first time on Off Notes. <laughs> Apparently, it's a, 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 um, a volcanic eruption that happens under the sea. So it's like, there's a mountain. I can't explain it. <laughs> but, <laughs> did they have? So these volcanoes er, um, erupt under the sea, but they form a ring. Mm. 
Yeah, so that's what they call it, the ring, ring or fire. fire. So if one volcano should erupt, it goes to the next, to the next, oh, all the ring. way around. That's why it's called the ring of fire. I saw it for the first time in that animation. I went online, typed the ring of fire. I said, wow, it is actually real. You know, so they learn a lot. Mm -hmm. Their vocabulary too. Yeah. Even when they play, especially yeah. if they are playing with, with children other. slightly older. Yeah. They are able to understand certain concepts. Yeah. That's able to understand. So that's why your son come home one day to say something and you're like, where did you how did you know? Or where did you hear this from? It's because of his interaction with, uh, with others. That is why you also have to be careful who they interact with. Mm -hmm. Because if they interact with children who use foul languages, your child will use foul mm -hmm. languages. So mm -hmm. this whole thing is, there's no, there's no, there's no particular rule. Yeah. So it, it, it has its, you just have to find a way to balance. balance. And you can't balance if you are not there mm -hmm. as a parent. That's, I think that, I think that, that, that was okay. Yeah. <laughs> You, like, can't you have to be involved. You have to be involved. Every step. Because, you know, when I was talking about them playing with my neighbors, it's because I know who that grandma is. Yeah. I know our children, when they come around, we well, see that. I just, the, good morning, how are you? Good morning. Good. That's all I know. It's not like we have a, a rapport. Mm. But I know they're responsible. I hear the couple talk. In fact, the time I heard them argue, and the argument was cute. <laughs> It wasn't, it wasn't anything loud. It wasn't anything. Mm. It was just the, I said this, you didn't agree mm. to it. Now it has happened. And I want to tell you, I told you so. And of course, the woman that, you know, wanted to say, I told you so. <laughs> so it was kind of cute. I understood that okay. they didn't know how yeah. to manage yeah. calls me yeah. and all of that. So if my children are going to play with their children, mm. it's okay. It's completely okay. Yeah, sure that they are not going to be getting I mean, anything negative mm -hmm. from there. So as much as we say, let them play with your neighbors. Let them play with other children. You also need to be sure of, I mean, I don't know if I've mentioned to you two before. We don't honor every children's party. party yeah. Every birthday, no. If I'm not sure of the parents, if I don't know who these parents are, I am sorry. You're, you're not, not going to yeah. see me. And, and I think this, I mean, this is what most, well, I want to believe that this is what every parent should do. Yeah, this is what every parent should do, but this is not what most parents are doing. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that's it. It's not every. In fact, it's not all of our friends that I take my children to visit. Yeah, definitely. Because even though they are friends, there are still some of them that we we need to you know feel draw. Yeah, draw. Yeah. So, all those. so there are some things that they would want to discuss. I know that I don't want my children in that, in that space. Conversation. So I don't take them mm -hmm. there. Some of them that are not, they've not, you know, taken up the responsibility of their lives. And we are just you know there to guide them. I can't put my children in yeah. that space also. So it still comes to the fact that as parents, you, you have just to have to be involved. You have to be involved. You can't just be running Yeah. Running on on free. <laughs> Send issue playing, just go just play. play. No. Send issue watch T V for two hours. So what don't go and say those <laughs> ladies of Bombay and I said they should play. Yeah. Go outside and go and play. And they're smoking yeah. I didn't send you. It's mm. not me. I was not Everything. here. You just have to find the balance between, you know, allowing them play watching of TV, even academic work, you know, there's everything must just come together. Yeah, that well, you must, must find the balance yeah. there. So, I mean, that's the basic. And uh, I hope that you learned that there's power in play. I mean, we've talked about so many benefits. We talked about, the, I mean, the improves intelligence. We talked about the building of physical body and even the mental health as well. Yeah. The, the play exercise, not the job, like you said, obesity. You just sit in one spot, don't stand, don't this, don't that. I've seen parents who be their children. Why did you start up from that? Why did you do this? You're supposed to just... If I'm going to a place and my children cannot move free, I won't go. That's the truth. Because they are children. I went for... There was a show. Um, uh, One of these musicians had a show. And we went for the show. And my son... I mean, it, it didn't make sense that I should keep him restricted there. So what I did was I picked the seat at the back where there was space. So you can... So leave. you can... But please don't go past this... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that you don't go to the stage and go and disturb them. But, you know, I did not restrict his movement. His movement. Next time, if I know I don't want to go through that stress, don't take him to the show. Because mm -hmm. it's even for show. But I didn't say, why, why, <laughs> why, 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 why are you taking a musical show? You know, so. So uh, it also helps to spark creating thinking. I mean, when they play, they always, they always come up with things. Leave your child, you know, just be on their own. You will see them come up with things. You see them, you know, build things. 
-hmm. Just do things. It might not look like it. It might not look like what they are saying, but to them it looks like it. I've seen my child build something. And like, oh, come and see an airplane. And my mom, I'm like, eh? Where is the plane? Where is the plane? You just, but I just like read and oh wow, it's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes I used to wonder, like, if Major Gabriel should sound that loud, like, I'll do, I'll, I'll, my mother's actually going. <laughs> like, we, if there's some sort of pardon for, 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 I will for us. We're going to understand that we're trying to support and encourage our children. <laughs> uh, also, it also helps with, I mean, improves communication, socialization, vocabulary, language, you know. By the time you allow them to meet with other people, you're able to tell them what is bad, what is not bad. Or like when you need them and then it grows to that point when they don't even know which which word you know what which word if they don't play it. I mean, have you met antisocial children before? Children think I no. would just want to sit in the corner and not talk. Yeah. No. You know, I'm in children church. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I meet in a lot, lot of, of them. children mm. and there are some children who would be on a seat Money from the thing. beginning of that service to the end. Like mm. they only get up to pee. Because this is how you're supposed to. Be. Is there a case that can be for reserved children? Mm. Even reserved children find fun. Mm. They find ways to have fun. Children who are dealing, who, who, maybe um, uh, um, autistic children, for instance. Mm. Yeah, they have their own, ah. It'd it be nice to do something like that. They have their own ways of having, having fun. fun. Yeah, playing. That is what I want. I wanted to mention that when you're talking about the observation, mm. like maybe when they're playing in the class. You can, a teacher can tell that this is what this child likes mm. and this is what this child does not like. That way you can even tell a child who's on the spectrum. Yeah. And say, okay, this is... Uh, so I know somebody who posted on Instagram the other day and says that a son does not like certain textures, maybe like towel texture for instance, yeah. or leather, but a son is comfortable with things that are like polyester, nylon. Mm. You get... Those are not exact words, but I'm just you know, trying to... Try to yeah. So it could be anything. It could be anything that, but every child will find fun. From however, yeah, yeah. my dear. Mm. So we said a lot, and um, thank you, Ifeo Luwadaya Toronto. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> always got me. Thank you. So I mean, we've said a lot, and I hope that you know you are able to come to terms with understanding that playing is learning, and children learn from play. They learn, so don't see it as a means of them just having fun, just winding away time while they play. They are also learning, learning. As well. It comes yeah. together. Even when they watch TV, they are also learning. And that's why you have to be there to be sure that whatever it is that they are learning is beneficial to them, is good for them, and not otherwise. Okay. So we'll come your way again on the next episode of Mommy and I. Remember to click on the subscribe button below, like, share. We want to hear from you. I mean, if you have experimented, I mean, on playing with your children, what have you been able to learn? What? What have you been able to come up with? Uh, you know, we want to hear from you as well. Aside all the benefits that we've mentioned, what other benefits did you also notice for your child or children when you allow them to explore, be themselves, and to play? Do you want to say anything last sure, time? Sure, you, you've said it all. <laughs> you've said it all. Don't just leave them to play. Also play with them. Yeah. Yeah, be involved. Be involved. Yeah. So you've heard that. Till we come your way again, have a great day.